Andrea Story 47, whatever it will be uh, written once I check with the best. It doesn't matter, but it's the last part. Because I already, as mentioned in the previous chapter, I already met Nikki at the airport with Dan Milonescu. Dan Milonescu was hitting hard on her. I was very impressed by this woman. I repeat again. Um, perhaps the most beautiful girl I've ever been with. She had um, an incredible charm. She was attractive like Claudia Schiffer or a supermodel or another supermodel um, and she had a sensuality she she it's that Marlene Monroe like she seemed to say to you without words come to me baby let's have a hot night Look at how voluptuous I am. She had good, wonderful breasts, and she had this, um, uh, as I said, feeling. Uh, she, uh, uh, she gave you this impression that she, she would be the queen of Sheba. She uh, going with her, having her in your arms would be Shangri-La. Would be would offer you the happiness of the world, gratitude, uh, iridescent and well, no. truth is anticipating with Nikki. She was a virgin. Come to think of it, that's why they why these notes are good for me in a way. I'm not sure what they do to you for you. Uh, discover a thought which probably never came or was there in the subconscious uh, this the fact the very fact that she was a virgin amplified she all these uh, she at the age of what was uh, 18 19 she was still a virgin so her desires her, she, she couldn't her, her father was very strict so but let's not concentrate on Nikki yet. She would have to have, who knows, 10 chapters. I'm not sure. I anticipated two with Nikki and then I think this is the fourth, actually. So, to wrap it up for Nikki, um, Dan invited her for a night out. And I guess with the added attraction that we will go as two couples so we went I with Nicole I was with Nicole still and Nikki went with Dan Minulescu I mentioned his name whatever it doesn't seem like thousands of people are watching this there are some uh, chapters which still have no views so it's for the aliens who would come 2000 years from now <clears throat> so we went to um, in the Bonassa forest what was the name of that Parco Privigatori Lord I think it was a bird's restaurant whatever it's not so important the setting was wonderful though we had as guides we had some groups there I think we even had in the week we had had it we had had an event in the week before so and that made us come again we had we had uh, good relations with these guys because we had a profitable uh, special supper money for them money for us uh, I will not go into the details sometimes you could make economy I mean the people had to eat all they could that's the idea of a special dinner but still uh, there were things left and I'm not sure if the details are important actually there were money to be made and um, with uh, Nikki and Nicole two, two of the most beautiful women 
Um, but with the phenomena which we find in Proust, uh, you begin, and in psychology today, but positive psychology, uh, you begin to have to experience what's called hedonic adaptation. You adapt to what you have, and you're not, you're not so excited anymore. It's true, that's the soul which comes from the Stoics on, from 2000 years ago, which says, um, want what you already have, don't desire, for, because that's a source of uh, misery, you desire all sorts of things which you cannot get, so you better want what you already have, or, in the words of today, the first rule of happiness, positive psychology, gratitude for what you have be amazed at these great guys and don't want some other vulture well being with Nicole and sort of having her as a let's say trophy you know, you know, as a male chauvinist pig Nikki was what you want what you don't have you want and so I started uh, looking at uh, Nikki with uh, envy, desire, and longing, and um, I don't know what, what else. I guess with some charm in it, with um, fueled by this. Uh, energy which was coming from her, I became myself more uh, more interesting, I guess, because she was showing much more uh, attention to this guy than to the man who she came with. So that was nasty. Instead of paying attention exclusively to the girlfriend I had, with the caveats and constraints that I already mentioned, that she was already taken. So in a way, here I'm a bit not absorbed, but justified in an ambivalent, having an ambivalent uh, attitude. But with Dan, we were friends. So that wasn't good to hit on the woman he was keen on and he invited and he... But um, that's what happened. So the end of the affair with Graham Greene, put it, with Nicole meant the beginning with Nikki.